So today's green subscriber special, I announced this about two weeks ago, and I've got plenty of questions to go through in this video, um, if this is in two parts I'm sorry, I'm going to limit the parts to 20 minutes each, because I don't want this video to be 40 minutes, because that will be very very hard to upload, and it pretty much kills the Wi-Fi for about an hour, and you know that's kind of annoying. So the first question is from my love for Doctor Who, now I'm going to change a few of the questions slightly, just for the essences of time and also me thinking. Uh, she says, top 10 Doctor Who YouTubers, I'm going to do top 5. And my top 5 would be Batman March, The Host Productions, Who Recons, The 66 Ramblers, Babel Core. All those channels are worth checking out. Especially The 66 Ramblers, they're not as well known, but they have done some amazing work. Or Hit Him, I'm not sure if it's one person or a group. But they have done some amazing work with recalling Doctor Who stuff and messing around with their new master and stuff. It, it, honestly, it is a joy to watch. Then the next few questions are from uh, my mate Len. Uh, next to is uh, Ask 16. Of course, Len's going to be awkward, isn't he? Uh, favorite color? Dark, almost purple blue. Favorite food? Nearest. Nearest food is favorite food. Or I do like Italian stuff. I do like a bolognese. Um, Garlic bread, I like garlic bread. Uh, other than Doctor Who, what do you believe is the most well documented thing on DVD? Ooh. I'd say The Simpsons or Red Dwarf comes close. Simpsons is pretty well documented uh, with the, all the special features and commentaries and drawing commentaries. Yeah, I'm going to go with The Simpsons because of the amount of special features you get on those DVDs. Uh, that's. I can't think of anything else. It's been done better. Yeah, The Simpsons or Red Dwarf. I'll go with The Simpsons. For the best Simpsons episode, what a coincidence. I hadn't actually read any of these. Quite funny, I'm asking you. But the best Simpsons episode. Hmm. There's a few. The Monorail one is obviously a classic. Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1 and 2. I count that as kind of one episode. Um, Mr. Sparkle is a favourite of mine. All the Shreds of Horrors, they're all really good. But if I had to choose, oh, that is hard. I have seen a lot of it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really having to think now. I'm going to say Shreds of Horrors 2. I know it's a bit of a thingy, but I just, series, season three, I've seen so many times as I had it from being a very young kid, so that's probably why. Five, the best Simpsons season, four. Um, none fun, not to say. Uh, seven, Paradise Towers. I, I'm just going to leave that one. Number eight, a sexy party. This doesn't call for a sexy party, so we should not be having one of them. Best Family Guy season, Five, it, 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 the, it, the British DVD is season five, or ten, but I'm going to go with five. Best Family Guy episode, Stewie and Brian, or was it Brian and Stewie? The 150th episode basically, where it's Brian and Stewie for the whole episode. Best Family Guy character other than the Griffins, got the Quagmire. Uh, on scale of one to ten, how fucking disgusting is the new Doctor Who logo? It's a good seven, it's a good seven. Not nah, sure, it's a good eight. Best Target novel cover, probably a few I haven't seen, but from what I have seen, I do quite like the Tenth Planet one, I think that looks really nice, and I'm probably going to say, hmm, that's a hard one, Death to the Daleks, I really like that Target cover. It looks really nice. Uh, best classic Dalek design, Destiny of the Daleks. Um, no, I know they weren't produced very well and they weren't made well, but the Daleks in that all um, uh, I think uh, Death of the Daleks because they are kind of similar, you know, silver, light, grey, that kind of thing. That kind of colour scheme, uh, black hemispheres and a grey or black silver body is the best Dalek design. Best classic Sandman design, uh, the invasion. Promptly followed by Earthshock or a slash Attack 
start and end because it's a bit the same. Finally, what is your proper opinion on the Pile of the Daleks? What do you think of the way the Daleks are portrayed in it? Honestly, Pile of the Daleks, I've watched it once all the way through, watched it in one go, um, which was the feet, and I can see why people like it, but I think it's one of the slowest to get moving stories ever and the slowest Dalek story to have a, you know, well, they're saying that I've not seen Master Plan, obviously, uh, yet, although I'm tempted to start watching some recons. I think there's just something about power. I once I'm, I'll get, if I can get to episode three, I can pretty much live with it, and you know, but I just find it really hard to get past the first two episodes. It just doesn't interest me. I don't know whether anyone else has that problem with some stories, and yeah, that's it. All the ones from Len, that was 16 questions, my god. Okay, the next is from Philip Hawkins, Philip Hawkins and um, he's going to mix it up with some questions on Red Door. In Red Door, what version of Holly do I prefer? Norman Lovett. Norman Lovett's Holly is the best. Uh, Painting John Kachansky, should she return? Um, I don't think she should return, but I think in Series 7 she adds a lot. I know people don't like Series 7 because Rena leaves within, within Episode 2. I don't mind that. I think by series six, Rimmer for me is a bit of a tired character. It's like they kind of done a lot with him, and I think Kachansky really adds something to series seven. I know people hate series seven. I personally quite enjoy it. I guess it is a kill to pleasure, and I think Crichton is at his best in series seven. He has some of his best lines and best moments, but that's just me. Uh, do you prefer Red Dwarf set, set seasons or Star Bulk set seasons? Uh, if you don't know about what I mean, what he means by this, in Red Dwarf there are some seasons which are set completely on Star Bulk, which is a little sort of like flying thing, or Red Dwarf, the main ship. Uh, personally, I think the, one of my favourite seasons is series, season 3, and that's all set on Red Dwarf, so the Red Dwarf set seasons. Uh, next is from Dan Bob Dog, who reviews it. If you've not subscribed to Dan, do, because he's doing amazing Doctor Who content, and one of the only ones who's giving it out, you know, with a steady pace. He says, congratulations, and again, for three subscribers, only one question this time. If you had to choose one figure release for character options to make, what would it be? So, one more. There's a few. Place that down there because it's be a bit of a rant. Um, the Salorian from Doctor and the Salorians, I would love to see. I'd like to see the Autons with the big heads from Terror of the Autons. I think that would be a really cool figure because you can do quite a lot there. You can make his head come off, so you've got the standard Auton face. Uh, what else would be on the table? Something I'd like to see. Uh, some, a drone Santaran or a Santaran from Two Doctors or the drone Santaran from Invasion of Time. If they, if they did Drone Sun Town from the Invasion of Time as a single release, that I would not buy any more figures and I'd just keep buying that one because I think it would look amazing. With Commander Store in the background and just loads of them, it would on it. Oh. You know, and I think everything that they need, they have already created. There's, uh, just make the helmet grey, not black like they did on the Sun Transparent one, which I still don't understand because it is clearly grey in the story. Why they made it black, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to, yeah, the Invasion of Time Sun Town Drone. That would be my figure. I'd more love to see them to make. And I'm tempted to one day try and make a custom uh, buy some of the ones. Next is from Jazz. Can you be my local nun? Uh, I'd probably need a degree, but I can try. What's your opinion on uh, Death Noise? It's interesting. Uh, top 5 Smith songs. Okay, I know that's the last one. Uh, oh, top 5 Smith. Um, how soon is now? Number 1. Heaven Knows I'm Miserable, number two, what difference does it make, number three, number four, um, ooh. stop me if you think you've heard this one before, and then number five, ooh, what would be the best thing to have, I do like, uh, please, please, let me, thingy um what's the, what's that one called i've drawn a blank because i just keep listening to the best of it yeah th those are probably my five yeah the top five next one is from sarah's jet channel uh congrats on the question how many doctor dvds do you need to complete your collection and what are they right when i saw this one came through because i saw it in the notifications i had to think how am i going to say this because am i going to be pedantic with slip cases or am i going to be sort of like general releases i'm going to be pedantic because otherwise it's going to be very short the answer uh Standard releases I need, I'm missing the Enemy uh, the World Special Edition, Sharda's individual D new DVD release, and Sharda's Blu-ray release, as I only have the Steelbook. Uh, I, since I've recently picked up the Green Death and Aztec Special Edition, so I don't need them anymore. Slip cases, I need 7 out of the 8 O-rings, I need the Damon's Convention Squidgy Slipcase, 
and I, I'm missing the five doctor slipcase for the uh, 25th anniversary edition. And I think that it. Oh, and there's um, a get walk up here. You know, the tangent. The key to time special edition, which is basically the box opens differently to uh, the standard release. Uh, the Daleks collection from the 40th anniversary. The Sideman collection. The, uh, the third Doctor box set from Amazon. Uh, regeneration. Introduction to the third, fourth, and fifth Doctor box sets. And I believe that is it. Don't think there's anything else I'm missing. So I'm not going to get some of them because some of them are pointless. But that is literally all the releases that I don't have. Um, oh yeah, this is another point I need to think out. I might be getting Vengeance of our Special Edition again because if you've got the Green Death Special Edition and you flip the cover around, yours might have Special Edition on the spine even though you flip the, flip the uh, cover. Mine doesn't, and Lennon's does. So we're and apparently Ark in Space should do, and my Ark in Space doesn't. So I think my you can get I think now you can get them without it on the spine. So if you've got those in it and easier, look around. You might be able to find it without um, uh, being taken fully. But yeah, I hope that answers your question, uh, Henry. Are you human? No. I'm far from it. I mean, if you see in my room that this isn't a hu this isn't healthy or human to own all this stuff. But hey, it's fun. Uh, next one from by the Time Lord. How many Target novels have I got? Uh, what are over there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, of the names I've got: the Tenth Planet, Two Space in Space, uh, Space War, uh, Green Death, Mutants, Genesis, the Daleks, Revenge of Simon, Visitation, and Terminus. Those are the 10 dark novels I have. I'd like to get a few more, um, not quite sure which ones yet. Uh, what's your spirit vegetable? Never thought of that one myself, so do give us a moment. Spirit. Not quite sure what that would entail. I guess a tomato, because is it a fruit or a vegetable? And people question whether I'm a, I'm a human or, you know, I have a conscious or not. So, you know, we'll go with that. Favourite Family Guy seasons in order from worst to best. Um, right, well, best season, season five, then season four, season three, season six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, eleven, fourteen. 17, 16. Don't think I missed any out there. Yeah, that's probably how I rate the Family Guy seasons. I know it was kind of quick, but I kind of I watched those seasons a lot, so I kind of was. And uh, can I promote Barry's channel and merch? Yeah, go check out Barry's channel. He's got merch as well. And then Adam Play 